I am Maria Garcia de Fleury. In Italy, in a small village called Cupertino, was born on June 17, 1603, Giuseppe Dessa, whom we know as Saint Joseph of Cupertino. He was born in the midst of extreme poverty. His parents did not even have a house when Joseph was born. His father died very young, leaving Joseph and his mother in absolute misery. Joseph was physically weak, fragile. He was so distracted that he didn't even remember what he had to eat. The Franciscans gave him what he needed to begin preparing so he could be a priest. However, Joseph could not speak fluently when taking exams. Of all the phrases in the Gospel, Joseph could only say without any error the one that says, Blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. In one of the final exams, Joseph was really scared. So one of the chief examiners said that he would open the Gospel and that he had to explain the first phrase that came out of it. By coincidence, or perhaps by divine design, the phrase that came out first was precisely the one he knew very well. When the day of the exam to be ordained arrived, ten friars passed before Joseph, and the bishop who examined them noticed that there was a lot of potential in them because they responded in an extraordinary way to everything he asked. Then he, he said he had no longer wanted to continue examining the rest because he said that there was no point seeing that everyone was so well prepared. For this reason, Joseph did not have to take the exam, and hence he is known as a patron saint of students with difficulties to help them pass their exams. On March 18, 1628, he was ordained as a priest. As he understood that he did not have special abilities to preach or teach, he made up for those deficiencies through penance and the prayers he made for sinners. Joseph never ate meat, never tried alcohol. He spent days fasting on bread and water and put great effort into the manual work he did within the convent, knowing that he had skills for that. He was very often in ecstasy during Holy Mass or when he prayed the Psalms. During the 17 years he was in the Grotella convent, his fellow community members frequently observed him elevated in prayer. The most famous happened when ten workers wanted to carry a heavy cross up a high mountain and were unable to do so. Then Friar Joseph rose into the air with the cross and carried it to the top of the mountain. Joseph Cupertino knew how to read hearts. He could be in two places at the same time. He healed the sick, was able to touch hearts and to convert them. He said, if you want something, have confidence in God. Go to the Virgin Mary and do not distrust because she will be the one who helps you in all your troubles. Pray. Never get tired of praying. God is not death and the sky is not made of bronze. Everyone who asks will receive. And to the priests he said, servants of God, set an example. Preach with actions more than with words. Actions penetrate the heart. Words slip and disappear. All the events that were observed in the life of Joseph Cupertino have no human explanation. Only we must think that God intervened in them in a special way, because with God we always win.